It's, it's Thursday! Thursday. Woo. Yay, it's Thursday! Come on, it's make Thursday. a sign. That's it. I'm oh, pretty thirsty is what I'm oh, Easy peasy. Yeah. Right, so. Classic. What are we doing today? Oh, but, Spritz. Oh, yeah. Spritz, and we have quite the audience. Quite the studio <laughs> audience today. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's tasting. So it means if we make jokes, you have to laugh really badly. We will. <laughs> <laughs> we're quite tame. You need the studio one So how are we sign. starting this, Luke? So we're starting with our sparkling. We're just going to do a tiny little bit just to soften the palette. Um, because we have so many people in store and we've got four different products to go through, we are doing a one glass wonder today. So. It's one glass wonder. Mm. Weeks one glass wonder. Nice. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, who's to Oh, Vivian's coming up. Keep your orange hair on. So we're Thanks, starting face. with a French Blanc de Blanc. And what? if you don't know, Blanc de Blanc means made out of Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Extra dry too. I want to sit at this table here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all the right food. Come um, why did we choose the Blanc de Blanc and this Blanc de Blanc in particular? Well, um, we were talking about what we would do if we did a spritz again after doing the Italian spritz. Mm -hmm. And the conversation came up, which was that the Italian spritzes were all dry liquids mm. with a fruitier wine. Uh, and if you look at a lot of sense. French spritz cocktails, they're the absolute opposite, which is a sweeter liqueur with a drier wine. Yeah, and you. thus, we end up with nice dry blanc de blanc. Mm. It's good. Yeah, Well, cheers. So sampling this one first. Yeah, cheers. Getting the verdict. Here's to the last tasting of 2021. 2020. Yeah. 2021. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get there. I just want to get there. I mean, it's yeah, the last, last tasting, tasting you of don't 20. stop. 2020. <laughs> mm. It certainly smells like Chardonnay. Quite yeasty. It's a little bit yeasty on the nose. Ooh. I like that. What do you reckon, Ross? Yep. What are your thoughts? Mm. It's a bit biscuity. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Almond biscuits. Yeah, almond. Good point. What do you think, oh. Eva? We have Ash Online and Janine says, always best to start with the bubbles. Oh, Ash and Janine. Hang on, Ash Online. Happy birthday, Ash. Happy birthday, Ash. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Very yeah. long-standing customer. And yeah. <coughs> but it's a little bit tasty. Yeah. It's a bit, a bit tasty. But it's nice and dry. Mm. Mm. Reminds me of the dry mead. Mm. Make a good wow, beer. Wow, I didn't beer. that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't had it for quite a while. So yeah, um, we're lucky that we you have a pretty game audience. You don't well. have to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm more than happy to. Give you a warning. Don't speak with local. We say that you do what you want. So um, when it comes to spritzes, because you specifically French spritzes, um, the most popular would be, of course, the Cur Royale, which is made with cassis. Um, we chose not to do cassis today, mostly because we wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, so we've got a couple of different liqueurs. We've obviously got um, Domaine de Canton, which is a French ginger liqueur. We've got Saint Germain, which is a French elderflower liqueur. And we've got Mandarin Napoleon. Now, Mandarin Napoleon isn't actually French. It's from oh. Belgium. Oh. But the reason we've included it is because it's a very traditional style of liqueur and kind of where liqueurs started, which was um, a fruit added to a brandy base. So. Um, if you look at a lot of the old school French liqueurs, that's how they all kind of started, which was sort of macerating fruit in brandy, oh, um, which is how you end up with things like Cointreau and Triple Sec and all of those sorts of things. So, um, yeah, we thought it would be good to sort of go back to where a lot of European liqueurs started, which is kind of interesting. So, let's kick it off. Beautiful. What do we do? Dash the ginger. Dash it. Dash it. Can I just, just a, a slight word of warning because this is the last tasting of the year and I can't believe this hasn't happened earlier. Uh, one of our regulars has informed us that having just opened the bottles just to have a bit of a smell and perhaps a little taste, 
that um, some people may have received the... No, the, it was one person. I apologise to Janine at home. <laughs> Who has had two of her liqueurs with the wrong labels. All right. Um, just in case it's anybody else, just oh. smell what you've opened, and if it doesn't smell like ginger, you've yeah. got the wrong one. Yeah. So we are doing a very small amount of ginger, just because if you don't like it, you might want to move Ooh. on. Wow. Now, gingers can be quite expensive. Mm. How much ginger would you need to make, mm. say, a bottle of this? Um, ginger's a very interesting thing. A small amount of ginger goes a long this way. Mm. Um, <laughs> that's a big thing. Um, oh, well. A small amount of ginger goes a long way, and the thing about um, ginger is, particularly in alcohol, mm -hmm. the way that ginger works is that it gets picked up very, because it's quite fragrant, um, it gets picked up by ethanol very easily. Oh. So it's actually a really great form of adding ginger to your cocktail. Mm -hmm. I don't recall this was actually pink ginger. Yeah. So there are different types of ginger, obviously. What do we think about the smell of this? Quite um, lots of ginger. It's a little bit floral and fragrant on the nose. Marzipan. Marzipan? Mm. Yeah, that's sort of like almondy, sort of sweet. Okay. Yeah, as I recall, it's a while ago now, but when it was first released, it was like there was something to do with the ginger. It wasn't just average. It's pink ginger. Yeah, it's fresh. It was a specific type of pink ginger. So I wasn't yeah, okay. just Pacific, Pacifically speaking. Anyway. Yeah, Pacifically yeah. speaking. Anyway. I think it smells. I think to me it smells like um, candied ginger. Yeah, like you have with your yeah. butter and yeah. candied ginger. It's just sugar and mm. ginger. So yeah, I, I used to get those so. when I was younger, and I'd eat them and go, "Ha!" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. She had the I love them. I love them. Spicy. Yeah. 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 What's really interesting is that this is actually too spicy. They have, it hasn't got that really sharp. On the end, which is quite nice. All right, so if we're going to make a spritz, how much should we have in the glass? Um, about half a shot would do. So, um, if you don't know, that should be about 15 mils or you know, a couple of mils. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Um, and then how much sparkling do we put in? Uh, I'm just going to go for, you know, a light dash. <laughs> now, we are obviously doing a tasting pour for this. If you're at home, you would probably do a whole shot of ginger, but that's up to you. Do we need some soda as well? Ah, well, the soda is optional, um, but traditionally French spritzes don't actually include soda water. That's quite syrupy. Mm. I will pull you up there. Some do, some don't. In August last year, we were in Paris, and they definitely had soda in their spritzes. What was their spritz, though? They had a whole menu of them wherever you went. Most started with an Aperol spritz. Next ah, so Italian spritz. And the second one of the world was always Saint Germain spritz. French and after that, it could be any number of spritz. Um, yes, we've got these in a little bottle. Um, yeah, so we've got Ian as well. He said, yes, candy ginger here. And Ash said, smells like the pink ginger you get with sushi. Mm. It does. Mm. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a bit interesting. That's right. Now, do you want to try with a dash of soda? I don't think it's mm. yep. I quite like the yeastiness of the champagne with that sort of like floral. Yep. Um, honeysuckle. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Honeysuckle. Let's bottle Honeysuckle. Mm. What we've got from the, uh, the crowd. Honeysuckle and like ginger. Gingerbread. gingerbread? I really like the yeasty kind of breadiness. Yeasty gingerbread. Mm -hmm. There's almost an interesting note to it. Like a lemony kind of note. Like a sweet lemon tart. Yeah, sitting on the top of your tongue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's tart or citron. I've got to say, it's the two of those together have a really nice texture. I had a little bit of soda. A bit more open. So, did you have the bottle of hand soda? Did you have any ones before that? Cookies. Interesting. Now, I got ice bars. Would this be something you put ice with? Do you think? Let's try it. Mm, well, I would have put personal pepper. I would have put pot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's not terribly easy. Yes, obviously. Like would, no. we, would we go with a garnish? Uh, <laughs> 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 you didn't mean. The Indian god of cocktails, garnish. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, it's like a ginger, maybe a slice of lemon. <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe lemon. Do you think maybe orange? Liz says orange. Sorry? Liz always says orange. Oh, that is tragic. <laughs> 
A mandarin? You, you say a orange. mandarin, yeah, there we go. Uh, kumquat. <laughs> kumquat. Ooh. Actually, kumquat is good. Kumquat What's yours? Clementine? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Yum. Where uh, do you want to be drinking this? I think I want to be... Mm. No, I think this should be good before food. Oh, I thought you were going to be like, in the French canal, sort of a boat. <laughs> that would be good. That's a good idea. I could buy a cool. Yeah. Under a palm tree. Yes. I'm not fast. Yeah, I think... I think in the French Caribbean. Yeah. 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 This is like, I think this is like... I just think this would be a really good palate cleanser for before us a spicy meal or something. Yeah. Dark or something. The sweet. And the That's sweetness would cool. highlight the spiciness of the meal. Right. I think this is like a Saturday afternoon nice. sort of after lunch, before dinner. Well, it's still quite sweet. Digest. So it's like Deciding what you're going to do with that kind of thing. Almost, like, the mm. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is, that's why I'm not adding soda to mine. I'm leaning more towards a French cocktail style, mm. not an Italian aperitivo. Mm. Right. Yeah. Uh, but, but it's up to what you I love the like. aperitivo thing anyway, just the whole... Anyway, aperitivo. Yeah. It could I mean, be the I sweet in a French 75. Mm. Good point. What mm. cocktails would you put this in? Um, goes really well. Um, you make a ginger martini, bit of gin or vodka. Mm. Chill it down. Mm. Um, add a dash of vermouth. That adds that nice floral sort of note. Ah. Um, yeah, there's lots you could do. Yeah, really so dry vermouth. Would go mm. pretty good in something like a Vespa. Mm. If anything, it would improve it. <laughs> Meow. You know anything about Big Vespa cool. martinis? It's just that they are Big cool. not the best thing in the world. But um, yeah, no, there's heaps you can do. You can put it in a sour with a little bit of whiskey. Mm. Put it in a whiskey sour with some like, lemon mm. and a nice creamy foam. Yes, thanks. Do you think that would almost replace some sort of sugar syrup? Uh, you could replace sugar syrup in like an old fashioned. Yeah. Um, you could also use it to replace Quattro in certain cocktails. To replace the orange mm. with the ginger sort of flavour. Okay. Um, I see, I see. The brilliant thing I love about ginger is it goes with absolutely every flavour of like there's there's almost no oh, flavour of spirit. Red wine, I wouldn't know it. Ginger <laughs> and red wine has been done. In a sangria, that could be good. Sangria. Yeah, mm. sangria. Yeah. Ginger and sangria. Yeah. Or even put a little bit in a New York sour with the red wine float on. You've seen it with white wine. But yeah, ginger goes with everything. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, Liz, you said it's more I don't think it would go with cooler. No. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay. I might try that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Saint Germain. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm into this. We're going to have to try a ginger ginger beer. Oh, <laughs> oh like with the mat sauce. Mm. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> Pink and yellow. Saint Germain. Who thought that the Domain de Canton might be a bit too sweet for them? I'd like to formally apologise. Um, we're going to be moving on. Mm. If they do, they can just get the King's Ginger. Yeah. Which is, which is not, not quite as sweet. sweet. Pouring beer off. Yeah, Russ has decided that he's not to be trusted pouring. Mm. Good call. Oh, yeah, Greg, do you prefer the King's Ginger or this one? What's your favourite? I actually really like that. Yeah, it yeah. is a little bit sweeter. Because yeah. um, the King's Ginger was set up to be drunk in the morning before going hunting, to like give you a bit of a sniff to kind of oh, wake yeah. you up. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I like them both, but it's different things. I think mm. the King's mm. Ginger is like a bit spicier, oh. yeah. whereas the Domain is a little bit more fragrant. Mm. Yeah. In that sort of like two different styles of ginger liqueur. King's Ginger first thing in the morning really. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. If you haven't had your wheat bix. So yeah. uh, on your so porridge. Yeah. On your wheat bix. On your porridge. Put hands on your chest. Yeah, this is probably going to be the sweetest of the liqueurs we're doing, which is the Saint Germain Elderflower. I adore this stuff. It smells like aloe vera juice. Light cheese. Light cheese. It smells like lychees. Light cheese. It smells like lychees. We say in aisle two. Spring. It smells like spring to me. I'm getting passion fruit kind of notes to it as well. Yeah. Golden passion fruit. Gold passion fruit, mm. yeah. That's because she's from Queensland, you can tell the difference. Oh, wow. Mm. 
there's almost like kiwi notes as well. That, yeah, that little bit of green. Yeah, that sort of like green. <laughs> which which kind of sums up elderflower. Yeah. Really. Green and sweet right. at the same time. Oh, Ian has deep fouled. Oh, wow. He says this mm. one is stunning. Mm. Oh, it's tasty. <laughs> I do like oh. that it's not too light. It does have like a little bit of nuttiness to it, which is kind of nice. Oh, yeah. We all do. Bit of macadamia. Oh, yeah. So that creamy. Soda? Okay. I'm going to put ice in this one. So you both put the glass in one. Okay, everyone putting glass in one. Well, That's the other thing is something like um yeah the Saint Germain can and just be had with soda. Yeah. But I quite like it. Can you put ice? Can we have yeah. some ice juice? Oh, you got some. Mm. Anybody want some good supreme? Anybody want soda? No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, Deadly with a Tasmanian. Ooh, yum! Yeah. Sparkling. <laughs> See, I'm a sucker for just like a yes, flour, well. soda in general. Elderflower and soda. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. pretty good. Mm. I really Lovely. like it. So that's, a, the, that, that's a yeah. dangerous combo, though. So I think that could go nice. down slightly yeah. too easily. Oh, it's, yeah, it's going. It nice. does. Just a bit of ice and the sparkling. Maybe hey, I'll get some ice. The other thing is that um, the ice obviously changes the texture of the sparkling. Mm. So it kind of softens it out a little bit. Cool. If you wanted to go softer, you could obviously add soda. But that's quite lovely. Mm. I, could, I would quite happily make a big one of those in maybe even a rocks glass and just sort of like sit and sip that in the sun. A fish bowl. What about a, a, big, bowl? a big pitcher with lots of fruit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd get behind that. This was, cer this was certainly as popular in Paris as the Aperol Spritz. Oh. Oh, delicious. Now, do you know how that one is made? Is it made as like a elderflower syrup? And then it's fermented? Ah, okay. Um, okay. But the Aperol Spritz is the one that's made of it. It's either one of two ways, which would be an alcohol maceration or a sugar maceration. Okay. So either you add ethanol to a elderflower syrup yep. Punch. Um, and you basically use a warm syrup to extract the flavour or you do an alcohol maceration which uses obviously the ethanol to draw the flavour out. Um, I dare say that that's probably a sugar maceration. Okay. Um, being a liqueur it's clearly meant to be a sweet style. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it could be googled if someone really bothered. Yeah. <laughs> It's not really Rather sticky, when you say it's sweet, it's not it. sticky sweet. No. No, it's 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 when you Google a lot of things, you get all the, all the sugar that comes out of the market. Yeah. But you don't necessarily get anything that helps you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing. Um, yeah, Googling some of this stuff is like really, can, is not always the most <laughs> It's a rabbit hole. It's good. Yeah, it's a rabbit hole, really. <laughs> um, I know particularly with the Mandarin Napoleon that the the brand that owned it has changed hands like 25 times. So oh. Yeah, so there's so just lots make of, it up, make up the story. There's lots of different stories about where it comes from. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's haunted. Ian said, I think this will be a free Christmas seafood lunch. Yeah. Mm. That is for sure. So now that Liz has said a fish bowl, I'm thinking of this as like lots of ice and maybe some mint. Yeah. 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 Big really Spanish yeah. gin. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'd be, that's like summer, summer country. And you can still pop in some raspberries. Mm. Well, that's what, Josh, that's what Josh has got. Yeah. Yeah. Back in aisle two. We're up, we're up at the raspberries. Way ahead of you. Yes. <coughs> Janina says, I'm thinking spritz spiders. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, that'd be oh, yeah. fabulous. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, like almost a tomato, like an affogato. Yeah. 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 I've never yeah. wanted yeah. alcoholic yeah. dessert so much in my life. Oh, <laughs> egg white. <laughs> yeah, not rice cream. And just not, not no, huge on dessert. No, it, 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 that it, sounds pretty good. A bit of gelato would be champion. <laughs> Is there any other <laughs> interesting or strange <laughs> garnish that anyone would throw with this? Could you put elderflower with it? Sorry. If you can find some. <laughs> <laughs> it loves strawberries. 
Yeah. Sorry, it, it, it's my between Christmas and New Year balcony drink that mm. people who come over. We, it used to be with Palaine um, sparkling, but of course that is not available all. anymore. I've drunk it all. Um. I think, yes, yeah, between um, my family and obviously your household, we've probably drunk Victoria Dry of Palaine sparkling. Yes. <laughs> we, we might just have to move on to the award winning um, Arras. Mm. How awful. Mm. <laughs> We're also not working between Christmas and New Year for the first time in 15 years. So Good. Jim, we'll be there. Good. That's the other thing. For everyone at home, we will not be open between Christmas and New Year. So um, if you want to know why, it's because we're probably at home enjoying a little bit of this. <laughs> Are you doing Saturday trading hours as you traditionally used to do? No. We okay. Have. Um, 2020. We decided that Just uh, wanted to when tell it comes down to it, it's not yeah, worth it. So there are enough people Anna, in the city. Ian has yeah. suggested a sprig of thyme. Sprig of thyme. Oh, yeah. 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 The it contrast and tarragon and gin in it. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. <sighs> tarragon, the one that you had last week. Yep. That's mm. what I was just thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Some like bright green, purple, a little bit of city, a little bit and a seedy. Green. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. It goes beautifully with the Anthra charismatica. I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> Is anybody growing tarragon? Leaves? I am. No. I, Can I have some? Basically, I found certain supermarkets will say that they stock it, but every time there is an empty, yeah, an empty tray on the shelf, no. weeks okay. after weeks after and weeks. It's hard to grow good tarragon too. I had some that was growing for Not ten years, and then all of a sudden they went, no, I'm over. So it. yeah, the best thing toast. to do is just plant it and leave it alone. Ian <laughs> just said, work. I planted tarragon of the weekend just for my gin. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, Ian. Yeah, look, to be completely honest, I did the exact same thing. And my gin said to me, what are you going to use tarragon for apart from gin and honey? And I said, that's excuse enough for me. Thank you very much. Uh, and I can say I've got to plant more because my problem is that my tarragon does not die off because I kill it by picking it all. So, I might have to plant some more. Anyway, we'll move on. Yeah. Okay. Go on. They're soaking our strawberries in. Yeah. Macerating this. Yeah. It's a good thing. That's a good point. Put some strawberries in a bowl. Put a little bit of St. Germain. Leave it for a little bit. Put it in champagne. I will say, a macerated berry at the bottom of a tall champagne glass. Love that. Right. Hang As on. a kid, that's what I used to do. Before we go that far, I've got to say, this is one of, from my knowledge, this is one of Luke's favourite things. Uh, <laughs> uh, a manna from heaven. Now, out of every box that we sell, Luke takes one home. At uh -huh. least. A um, A bottle. <laughs> The reason being, <laughs> um, it's like difficult to find a good quality liqueur that's brandy based that carries mm. the brandy flavour. Is that how the lid comes off of? No, that's oh, okay. just that's just. I'm <laughs> <that. laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, sorry, not to tell you that one doesn't work. Oh, this came off completely. So a lot of old school brandy based liqueurs Yum. are covered in fruit and don't carry the brandy flavour. Mm. Um, this does. Um, And the fragrance on it is so good. And it's one of the best mandarin liqueurs out there. I mean, I've tried a lot of them, and a lot of them are really sweet and disgustingly artificial. Mm. Well, graphic designers love the mandarin Napoleon. Yeah. Sorry, shout out to Dash. Yeah, cool. <laughs> anyway, where's the bottle gone? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ava's just nicked it. That is a good like cream like cream like cream. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's rare to find liqueurs that are this high quality. Mm. I mean, like, obviously through like craft spirits, we get a lot of really high quality spirit in terms of like the texture and the mouthfeel and the quality of the spirit. Um, liqueurs aren't always like that, you know, because they've got flavour and sugar in them. People can get away with doing some really nasty things. Um, this quality, the quality of this product is just. It's old school. And it's got, it's, wow. it smells it's zesty. It's got that, like. It does have that extra tang that time. Um, really tangy, mandarin y. Almost pickiness to it. Mm. It's got it has very good oh, yeah. yeah. And then when you have a taste, it then sits on the top of the calendar. But it's good that I can smell it. Would you like me, sorry, I can't really call it tonight. Would you like me or back in 
Mm. <laughs> it's it's really creamy yes. and, then it's and juicy on the back color. Mm. And then to be on the top end. Yeah. It's that little bit of bitterness. That's really delicious. Bit of the bottle does look like something I'll find. Mm. Does anyone else have okay. any opinions about this before we oh, put the back in yeah. it? Wait, you don't like it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I'm going to go with a fairly small amount of mandarin in comparison to my stark thing to start with, because I think this is quite a crunchy liqueur. Um, yeah. Sorry, I missed all the things, but this reminds me of sort of the mandarin peel. Yeah, it's, it's like very zesty. The smell's got a pickiness to it, mm. um, but mm. the taste has like a little bit more sort of like It reminds me of not... Do you Peeling think the mandarin properly and then they put the whole thing on the other Because most of the oils yeah. are in the skin. The oiliness yeah. and it the definitely has the zest. And then you have the sweetness and the back, back, back notes. That they have yeah. done a maceration. The fruit. Yeah. And that there's now, I'm not going to lie. What's a maceration? <laughs> so a maceration. They've taken the, the rind off the mandarin and mm -hmm. they're chucking a big thing of brownie lips. Okay. I don't know that they necessarily have all of the yeah. Would you call that a louche? No. No, I think not Because that's not um, oil. It might be oils, but I doubt it. I think that that's more likely that. Um, Thank you. <laughs> particularly things like liqueurs. <laughs> that's a bit of wood in my yeah. 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 Things like liqueurs are a suspension. Oh, no, that, so that there are tiny little oh, particles and stuff in there. Um, not necessarily oil. But <clears throat> Similar system to louching in that when you make it really cold, those particles stand out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that could just be. Could be oil, could be mandarin suspension. I don't think it's oil. I can see it. It looks like I can see the oil in it. Mm. Yeah, ice. I don't know if mine's too strong. I think it's good. I think it's good. Ice would be nice. Mm. Ice is nice, but more so is Marco. Anybody else want all from over there? This reminds me of going to Felix Bar for my first. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Oh, whoa! A bit of soda it makes it like really mm. punchy mm. and zesty mm. and delicious. Yes. Take, take away some of the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Careful. Careful. Um, <laughs> honestly, I mix this with anything and just drink it straight. Mm. So, um, mm. drink it straight, okay? Or, or on the rocks. Okay. So, but it's really good with um, a little mm. bit of whiskey. Mm. Yeah, I could see that would work. A little bit of whiskey, a little bit of mandarin liqueur, and some ice. I, think I, that. I put it made mandarin old fashioned out of it. Oh, really good. Um, yeah. Put it in a sour. It's really good to get that like mm. zesty. Did you say your brain? Oh, just your brain with soda elbow. at the height of summer yeah. when it's mm. 40 degrees. Yeah, mandarin and soda. Really mm. or, 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 or drizzled on top of lemon sorbet. Mm. Actually, nice. I drizzle that on top of um, like a light chocolate mousse. Oh, mm. like chocolate mousse. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I had a bit of cherry flavour earlier. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about that, but I understand it, but it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I understand it, but I'm not going there. No, 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 no. I understand how this flavours go together, but I'm just like not a chocolate mousse yeah. kind of guy. Who doesn't like chocolate mousse? Me. I'm I'm like I a like lemon tart. Do you like yeah. oh, I, like, I don't like oh, I don't like it to be quite tart. Mm. Mm. I do yeah. prefer a lemon tart over a chocolate mousse. Yeah, absolutely. Like any day. Oh. Can you make a mandarin tart with that? Yeah, for sure. Mm. I made a mandarin upside down. Mm. Ooh, deadly. Yum. Which would be really good with that on top. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm just doing oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Actually, Liz, yeah. make it. Put it. Put the. Put the mandarin in the butter or the jelly you put on top of the pata. Yes. Now mm. we're in. Or you, you soak the, the little buggers in the, in this stuff and then you drain it off and then when you cook it lightly it just fills the Yep, it's that's not it. too strong. Ah. That's my that's gonna be my Christmas pate, my new year's. Yeah. 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 Pate, mandarin pate. I don't know. Oh, no. I'm into it. They have orange pate, so why I've got not? Pate, right, pate yeah. is gross. Oh, it would be fresher. Oh, wow. 
Verging on when it comes to the, the French style spritz category, I think this is verging on like a bit of soda breakfast cocktail. Mm -hmm. oh, Nothing yeah. wrong with a breakfast cocktail. You know, cocktail. replace the OJ with your pancakes with maybe a little <gasps> mandarin spritz. Yeah. Actually, yeah. crepe Suzette. Yes, that's what I'm getting from there. Yeah. Well, well, welcome welcome back to the fold, Christine. Crepe <laughs> <laughs> Suzette has come back around. I am so proud. My absolute favourite tasting note that I've ever said. I go, Costed for having outlandish tasting notes when I said Crepe Suzette. Oh, I feel very justified now. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yum. Look, I think this would go really well with basil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be interesting. Yep. Mm. Mm. Well, mm. I'm going to consult Ian on What this. type um, of basil? A situation is... Just yeah, everyday garden basil. Yeah, well, that's what we've got a situation. chef online. Yeah. Ask, oh, ask Ian about yeah. getting married. Ian, what do you think? Ian has also said, I am with you, Luke, lemon tart over chocolate mousse. Not for the basil. I, no, I'm, I'm happy to take any kind of. Um, I'd like some feedback on the on the pate idea. Basil, I think, okay. think sweet mm. ginger. Mm. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm thinking this is straight aperitivo mm. stuff for me. I would do a tiny basil, or you know that tiny little little basil leaf. Spicy basil. Yeah, it might be the little. Or the purple. Yeah, the purple. Yeah, purple basil, yeah. not a bad idea. It's, good. it's, good. it's peppery. Yeah, really yeah. no, orange. orange. Oh, yeah. Oh. With the ginger. I Limoncello with tonic water and basil. Yeah, I nice. did say this could go well with tonic water. Mm. But, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it could, it could, could tonic do. Water. Yeah. Mm. And maybe it's yeah. 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 I mean, I think yeah. it would be kind of, you're at risk of like I'm falling into the territory tonic. of the fever tree clementine tonic. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, Ian has <coughs> also said, ask Liz as well, she has a great palate. Oh, thanks, Ian. <laughs> uh, see, this is great. Like, in completely different states. Never met before. Mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Met. That, that's how Ian's with us. He's one of the oh, losers. Yeah, we're oh, in competition I mean. together. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a competition. <laughs> it's a Are you serious? I'm only doing this because it's a competition. It's a jewel of the palace. <laughs> um, tasting Australia. And we were team lines so close. Oh, and I was team captain. Oh, Liz, team captain of the competition, it sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> but what does everyone else think? What, is, what do we all think about garnishes or where you want to be drinking it? The mandarin goes really well with the domain. Mm. It's a little Ginger splash. Ginger mandarin, mm -hmm. I like the mm. way you think. I reckon I this with a cheeky stick of cinnamon. Mm. Cheeky right. stick of cinnamon. Maybe in a hot toddy. Mm. Yeah, instead of like an orange peel. In a hot tub. Eggnog. <laughs> Oh, something in my head. Something in my head. Just no, think something in your stomach. Something in your stomach. Don't do it. Right? Well, no, it's, it's like a, so a, a if you're creamy milk cake. Like, like, Serving um, thing. Yeah, the idea. The idea. Brandy. Number two. Where would you put brandy? Citrus. No. You put brandy in eggnog. My idea when you say eggnog should be left in England. Eggnog. I'm thinking dairy and citrus, and I just have images in my head. No, it's dairy and spice. Yeah, no, otherwise it could. I know it wouldn't curdle. Well, it would my mind die. Leave yeah. it to the palms. It is not something we should be drinking in this <laughs> country. It's cool. Thank you, Greg. I agree, that's awful. <laughs> I've, had, I've had support over here in the English what, corner. One conversation. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Huh? Sorry, we're getting, we're getting excited. I've, I've won that competition. I'm all right now. So we're not doing that. <laughs> <eggnog. laughs> it's exciting. Um, yeah. That's the other thing. Um, Christine was saying that the Domain de Canton ginger would go goes really well with the mandarin Napoleon. Can I dare say ginger goes together? Yeah. I'm going to find something. I'm not sure ginger ginger go with well. the elderflower. And I'm not going to try. Oh, really? So I was just a bit concerned about the eggnog because it's not talking about those. Milk and cream that were in the 70s. Oh, that was fabulously bad. Oh, no, going to the kettle of your tummy. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, well, what was that? Oh, the coordinate with the food, oh, those jello molds. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
Now, um, so there was actually a resurgence of them recently when no Jesus dairy in started cocktails. turning um, espresso martinis into latte things. So they put Baileys in their espresso martinis, which not a, the worst idea. Close, but like <clears throat> if you've ever had too many espresso martinis, that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a controversial opinion. I'm not sure if I'm sold on this. Uh, I don't know if my ratio is all wrong. I've been trying from the beginning different ratios. It might just be adding more. Late in the year to be out on the street, girl, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love Ava. We love um, Ava. She's maybe wonderful. you just like it by itself. I don't know if I did. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make me a drink, Lou? Can you, can you serve it to me? All right. Challenge, <laughs> challenge accepted. Because my friend is too yes, seriously so. strong. Next week, I will make Eva a cocktail that she will enjoy. That's not hard. Next week, this is a challenge now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I haven't got the ingredients I need. Oh, is that wrong? Okay. Oh, no, well, I was thinking of the, the ratio for this oh, kind of feeling. No, Eva's just saying, make her something out of what we have that she will like. Yeah. This is the first time that I've been like, not crazy about that. Apart from the wrong. I'm with you on the rum. I'm just not a rum yeah. drinker. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Mm. I don't trust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was Alex. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Well, um, use, it, use it at this point, we talk about what we're going to be tasting next week. Oh, can we not? We're not tasting no, no, next no, no, week. No, no. What, are you, what are you tasting next week? Next week, well, we're having a staff party, so I've got lots of things. <laughs> Good on you. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. Um, next week, I have decided to continue my Mandarin journey and getting my hands in some Mandarin cello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Deadly. Oh, wow. So, uh, that's what my journey is for next week. Oh. What's yours, Ross? Hmm. I think it's going to be more spritz. We've been on a bit of a spritz mission lately. Have we got any more sparks? And I was yes. very, very broad on the weekend saying, oh, you can make a spritz out of anything, which I did do, and then I made a spritz out of something that didn't work. So. <laughs> It's marked, good to know your limits. I marked, and test I marked it up completely. So. Yeah, it was not good. It wasn't good. I personally made one of the best So I'm now, after being such a smarty pants, what I can do to turn a spritz into, I failed once. <laughs> What did you do? Uh, yes, what did you, you do? The product and that's not fair. I think to be honest, I think it's product. Well, you're all blind with product. Anyway. <laughs> no. uh, well, I think we should say to you. I'm going to be doing it. Thank you. I'm going to be doing our last tasting of the year. This is our last public tasting. But next week, I'm going to be doing citrus gin for the fifth time. Yeah. Woo! Woo! So, you guys know, cool. we've been doing private tastings for corporate clients. And Vivian has become yes. the absolute champion yeah. of doing the exact same tasting and coming out with new and improved tasting notes yeah. every session. She's done the same gin five weeks in a row now. Wow. And somehow is still learning more and more from it. So it's yeah. not about life. It's yeah. a different journey every time. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I was going to say thank you so much to everybody in the room and at home yes, for all your love. support this year. It's been a bloody hard year. Um, particularly for those of us trying to run retail in the city. Mm. And it's been great to have you um, in here and for us to be in your lounge rooms and for you to be chatting away and telling Ian and telling us what we should be eating, which is something you all the time. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> so it's, um, it's been great. They've, they've been really good. We've really enjoyed them, haven't we? Yeah. Well, it's kept yeah. our sanity up. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. hang on, guys. Don't, don't throw out the. Um, the little bottle, we recycle those as everything yeah. else. So, you know, and, um, you know, feel free to email in <coughs> to order that. Yep. Ideas about what you'd like to do next yeah. year. Because next year we're thinking we might still do tastings online, but we are yes. going to have our full glasses by then. Oh. Hopefully. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. so in which case we will be able to do more tastings in the store. And so we might still put a tasting online. Yeah. When we haven't decided entirely. It connects the, the community. Um, yeah. well, I think
I'm sure we've learned lots. I've learned lots. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.